What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down how you guys can improve your comeback routes. We're going to be taking a look at this comeback right here. We're going to talk about the negative things about this route. Obviously, we're going to mention the positive things too, but we're going to talk about the things that this receiver can improve on with this route to improve this thing, get a little bit more separation, okay? But also, fellas, if you guys need to improve your route running and you want to do it in 10 days, specific route running training program, 10 days only, under two weeks, run better routes with specific drills, technical aspects to make you a better route runner, check out that very first link in the description, you guys will be really beneficial to your game, will help your routes improve, help you eliminate wasted motion, and just be an overall better receiver. Hope we get you guys on that soon. It's a 45-minute long video with everything you need to be a better route runner, all the specific things that I teach personally to my wide receivers. Hope we get you guys on that soon. Let's get started. So first thing we're going to be taking a look at here is the break at the top, okay? So let's watch it full speed. So we come off the line of scrimmage here, not a bad release, get some separation, and then we kind of get a little bit stuck at the top of this release. So we're going to be talking about why we get stuck at the top of the release and how you guys can get out of breaks a little bit faster and a little more efficiently, especially when it's a comeback route, okay? So now, when he's at the top of this break, you guys see the first thing that happens is what? He snaps down, but what do his hands do? His hands shoot down. So now the thing about this is, is we want to try to get out, especially when you're at a higher level of football, you really want to try to get out of this break in like three, three to five steps. But again, it's about eliminating time, not about eliminating steps, right? But you see how when he snaps down here, he snaps and then he does that pivot step, then he does that hook step, then he takes two more right there. And there's really not a whole lot of burst back down on this 45 degree angle where he can run and widen the distance with his DB because he did a great job making sure, believing that it was fair did a great job of getting this DB to really turn, commit, and run, think, fade, soul with his eyes. But when you guys snap down right here, the thing that gets you out of the break is these arms, right? You got to have good feet. You got to be able to pivot. You got to be able to get your hips down on this level. And that's exactly what he does. You see how he snaps, he pivots, he hooks. He's in a perfect position to get out of there in three steps, but he's not ripping this left arm behind him, right? What you want to think of this, especially when you're on the right side, you want to snap. He snaps with his inside leg. That's fine. Get to that depth. But you want to think your left arm, you want to try to elbow somebody behind you. You want to rip that thing across your frame and you want to rip your right arm you want to rip your right arm across this way to shoot you out and get your hips back on that 45 now what he could do off of this third step is really think about pushing almost like you're working a speed cut a post cut an out cut so when you snap pivot hook that hook step you want to push down in the direction of this 45 to make sure that we're trying to eliminate as much wasted motion at the top possible and that my arms are running out you want to keep your arms natural you don't ever want to beat the drum but you don't want to have your hands shoot down as well you want to make sure that you keep driving those arms and keep running out of this break so you could win the race back to the ball because you see how this DB is able to react. If that DB didn't slip, he makes this play. 100% of the time, if that DB does not slip, he is right there to make this play. There's not a whole lot of separation right here because we got stuck at the top of the break. So make sure that it's a snap. Again, great job snapping down. I love the snap down. I love the peak back. He's pivoting off this second step. His hips are in a great position to work, but if he could continue to rip those arms out of there, rip the right arm across, rip the left behind him, and drive off of that third step and really push down that 45, he doesn't have those two extra steps where there's no explosion, and that allows that DB to make that play, especially when you're at a high level of football. Those little details, those details matter. The details matter. The little things aren't little. So you've got to make sure that we do those specific details, especially at the top of the route. Work this route where you cut it down. Maybe cut it down in half. Work the details. Then run the full thing. Maybe we don't, we're not ready for the full thing. Maybe we got to get it down at only about, maybe let's say this is like a 15-yard comeback. Maybe we run like maybe an eight back to six-yard comeback first just to get the steps down, just to get the movement at the top of the route then we build up into this thing full speed. But if you just try to run out there full speed and try to do this on the fly, you're not going to be able to do it, right? So let's watch this thing full speed one more time. Good release, great job selling vertical, great eyes, just got a little stuck at the top of the break. Make sure we keep those arms driving and push off of that third step to get some separation. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, leave those in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And also, fellas, if you guys want to improve your route running in 10 days, 10 days specific step-by-step -step workout program and training program with specific drills, exercises on the field to make you a better route runner. Check out that very first link in the description. I'll see you guys next time.